Hi guys, welcome back. So in our previous video, we completed our platform for uh, for the model. So in this video, we'll be start modeling our main components in the concept image. So before that, uh, now we have uh, actually four views. Uh, here I am going to make it only two views visible uh, by dragging this panel down like this. So now we have only two views. One is our orthographic view. Uh, where we can actually uh, shift between uh, side view, front view, top view, any of that orthographic views. So orthographic means it's not perfect per perspective. It's actually focused on a one specific angle like a top, front or side, something like that. And uh, the other side will have our uh, perspective view. So here we'll be able to uh, see the final output in a 3D view. Okay, so here we can in the orthography view. Uh, now we are actually selected top view. Here itself we can change it to front view, side view, top view, any of the views we want. So the next thing is we are actually going to create our main model, which is our mushroom uh, house. So for that, the first thing is we want to create a cylinder we are going to create uh, this model from the cylinder itself so first thing is we will go to the top view and now uh, it's in shaded view so we are not able to see uh, what's happening uh, we are not able to see the center of our model so for that you can just press 4 on the keyboard so the view will be shifted to wireframe mode so now we can see all the lines and we will be able to see the grid also much more uh, properly after that you can select the cylinder from the poly modeling shelf after that you can click and create a cylinder once you click and create a cylinder now you can shift it to friend view and now we will be able to move the cylinder up and we will align with our concept image once you are satisfied with the height and uh, radius of our cylinder now we can actually move on to the next part which is our which is editing our cylinder to match with the concept image so after creating that you can actually just shift to you can shift to shaded mode by pressing number six on the keyboard after that now the thing is we are going to change some values in the input tab so here in the uh, poly cylinder input value subdivision axis we are going to reduce it to 12 so we will not have too much of polygons because we are going to add extra height subdivisions as well as we are going to add a radius also radius subdivisions also so by doing that we will be adding more polygons more faces more uh, edges and more vertex that way the model will get uh, much more complicated and uh, the final image will be uh, resembling to the original model and uh, more polygons means it will take more time to render so that's the reason we are going to remove unnecessary uh, subdivision axis like uh, we don't need a 20 axis in order to make it uh, into a cylindrical or a round kind of shape so once we actually press 3 on the keyboard the final output will have a proper round shape uh, so we don't need uh, that extra subdivisions so once that is done now we are going to add a subdivision height so now it's actually default to one now uh, we are going to add just maybe three subdivisions so after that if you want extra subdivisions we can always add them so once that is done in the friend view itself now also we are not able to see everything properly in the background we are not able to see the concept image properly since we are in the shaded mode but if we shift it to wireframe mode also we are not able to see everything properly since uh, uh, the background image is much more colorful and uh, we are seeing the grid as well as the model at the same time we are not able to see everything properly so that's why we have a one more option in the viewport here itself uh, in the top panel you can see a lot of icons and if you hover over them you will get a small message box below and I'm mentioning what the tool is and at the end of that uh, 
option you can find something like a x-ray so it's actually just like uh, the name x-ray once you enable that option the shaded view will be changed into an x-ray mode now we are actually able to see a much more uh, transparent version of a shaded mode so now we are able to uh, see the model properly and we can see the background image also much more effectively so this is the uh, x-ray mode once that is done now you can actually edit the components and uh, start aligning things properly so the first thing is we are going to go to the vertex mode for that particular cylinder and we are going to select the last bottom all of that vertex and we are going to move it up and we are going to align it to our ground once that is done the next thing is we are going to scale it so it will be matching with our concept image so you can press R on the keyboard and you can scale it and you can repeat the same thing to the next uh, set of vertex and you can move uh, use the move tool by pressing W on the keyboard and you can start aligning that key, uh, vertex with the concept image and we are going to repeat the same thing for the next set of vertex as well okay once you align everything properly and uh, now you can see in the perspective you also we are able to see the changes which uh, we have done and the next thing is uh, now it's in uh, friend view everything is scaled and aligned properly the next thing is we want to make it more much more organic we want to uh, move these things in other direction also so that's where uh, the creativity and uh, your ideas and your vision will come here so this time uh, in the side, uh, perspective view itself you can actually uh, move it backward maybe rotate it you can see the top of our uh, mushroom is actually rotated so you can actually start uh, doing that you can just uh, rotate it a little bit and uh, move it to that direction of our concept image like i am doing in here you can do the same thing with the rest of our model as well okay so the next thing is we can actually select uh, this vertex and i can just move them back to make it little bit changes you can in between uh, make some changes to make it much more organic something like that after that if you press 3 on the keyboard you can see the final out and the next thing is now both the sides filled that means uh, once you actually press 3 on the keyboard it will be stretching from that uh, center point to the side view so it will have a like a cornered uh, like a rounded edges so if you want you can keep that for example if i enable the x-ray mode in the perspective view now you can see uh, we have a, a polygons in the center of our uh, cylinder at the bottom area also and which we are actually not seeing in the final model so it's actually uh, some unnecessary models and uh, it will take more time to render if we keep it it will take more time to render so uh, to avoid that you can actually select the face uh, and we can delete uh, these faces since we are not actually not seeing that and uh, in the final image it will not be visible so you can just select and delete this unnecessary faces and uh, now if you smooth also it will not uh, show a rounded rectangle in the bottom so you can delete uh, this unnecessary phases in any model and uh, if, uh, for example if you are just uh, creating a simple image or a single uh, view kind of image you can actually uh, avoid creating uh, too much uh, things actually not visible in the camera for example if i keep it straight 
and uh, i don't have to create anything in behind this tree since uh, the tree is actually blocking uh, the view so we don't have to create anything in the uh, in the behind we just have to fill in the rest of the empty space so but if you are rotating and uh, changing the view then you may have to create uh, that things so uh, keep that in mind if you are just creating a simple image single image and if you already have a camera view in mind then create uh, models according to that camera view so you don't have to create extra models or uh, anything unnecessary uh, so if you do that uh, then the final image will take more time to render and it will be a much more headache and uh, you may have to spend more time rendering the final image okay now we actually completed that uh, the bottom area of our mushroom model the next thing is we have to create the uh, top area uh, 